Tuesday. We are so excited today to have Stephanie Eiliff with us. We are actually sponsored by my own coffee today. Yes. So exciting! It's Storytime Coffee, and all the proceeds from this coffee actually go to Rainy Days Foundation. And we're going to, actually it goes with this cute little Christmas book. And, I love you know. that! I need to get that <laughs> for sure. Well, actually, um, I have a book for your girls. It's our Flutterbug book. So you yeah. have two little girls, three yes. and five, right? Yes, yes. They hopefully will love it. I will sign it for you before okay. you leave. And I appreciate it. Yay! <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Books are always great, like grow your mind constantly. So yes. thank you. I appreciate that. You're very welcome. And thanks for having me on today. You're so amazing. Well, yeah. I am so excited to, to meet you. Like, like I was telling you, I heard you on the radio yeah. and I said, I need her on my show. <laughs> share what you do so I'm gonna go yeah. ahead and just turn a little bit of the time over to you okay, and perfect. let you tell our audience yeah who you are and what you do okay uh, my name is Stephanie like she just said thank you for the introduction you're beautiful and amazing and thanks for having me on just you're inviting welcome. me here I truly appreciate it um a little bit about me is I'm a single mama of two little babies like you just said they're almost three and five and uh, I'm a self-love coach and I just help people really find who they truly are. And like, my company's called Powerhouse because I really believe that every woman and every man, but I, I focus a lot with women, it are, are truly created to be a powerhouse. And it's just helping you to like, let go of the framework that's maybe helping you not be the powerhouse you wanna be. And when you can truly let go of that and then build the framework that you want and you can see like, oh, this is the powerhouse I wanna be and here's what I'm supposed to do, then it's like, you can just fully step into that and it's just a beautiful journey. And I had to have my own journey of that, of literally, breaking down the house within me brick by brick wall by wall to let go of shame and guilt and fear and anxiety and you know identities of like what's a mom supposed to look like what's a wife supposed to be I was married before um and just everything and so going through my own journey really woken me up and I ended up leaving the company that I worked for so I used to be the vice president at a billion dollar finance company and it was a beautiful journey and I'm so thankful for that because I, especially now as an entrepreneur, um, it's so cool to, to, I'm so blessed by the mentorship that I had by working with like all these brilliant minds, like constantly and like learning to ask them advice and like all the projects that we built and the things that we did. I was like, wow, like I really got the most amazing experience yeah. of all time. Like, and like just got to work with such amazing, brilliant people. Um, and it, I was, I was, I'm so thankful for that, but I wasn't truly happy with what I was doing. And by all measures of like what success looks like in America, like the American yeah. dream, oh, I, had, yeah. I was married, we had a beautiful, amazing house, we traveled all over, I made six figures, my husband at the time made good money too, so we would like, our, our life was great on the outside. But what was really going on the inside was so not great. And I hated my life. I hated myself. I hated, I I had a, just a ton of shame and guilt. And so I wasn't me. Yeah. Um, and I was just struggling. I was really struggling. And so I learned, um, so me and my ex actually went to therapy. We did a bunch of stuff and it helped me wake up to the person that I wanted to be. And then through that, I found my own self-love and I really found me and doing that, I ended up leaving my company and starting, starting my company that I have now, and it's just been like the best journey of all time, so. That's so yeah. awesome. So how many years, ago, how, how long has it taken for you to get from there to here? I feel like I'm still always going. Yeah, like, exactly. It's never, no, it's totally never ending. Um, but yeah, so I started my self-love journey really honestly after I had my daughter, my first mm -hmm. daughter. Um, cause I gained 90 pounds being pregnant cause I just ate like Ruby snap cookies every day of my life. So <laughs> what, where I worked at, it was downtown at the time and it was by Ruby snaps. And so. And you could go in, you can have free samples every day. If you've never been, you have to go. It's right. their life. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot. I'll, I'll really for plugging you in now. Um, but like, and so they would give you like all these samples, and I would just, I, oh my god, they were so delicious. And so I just, and everybody's like, if you breastfeed, like, you, oh, it will just fall off. I'm like, cool. Like, yeah, let's, yeah, like, let's do this. Yeah, that's such a lie. That did not work, like, at all whatsoever. And so I had never um, really experienced what my body looked like at that time. And I'd always struggled with food. I'd always struggle with, like, my version of what my weight was. I definitely had, like, what I, and I've talked about this before, like, on my stuff. But, like, um, I thought ever since I was 14 that I thought I was just, like, so fat and so gross and so ugly. And I never, and when I go back and look at pictures, I'm like, babe, like, 
Sis, like you were not like, exactly. I, but I literally did. I could not see that. So when people say body dysphoria, like I, I really want people to understand that it is true. Like you physically yeah. don't see what someone else is. Oh, seeing. how many of us say that? You know, I wish that I was as as skinny or what? What would what what I look like? What I look like? Yeah, what I thought it was fat. Yeah, yeah. And I, yeah, it was just that, right? And so I dealt with a lot of like body shame, um, and I didn't really ever deal with it. And so I just. So once actually I have, after I had my daughter, I really had to deal with that. And it was also because once I had my daughter, I was like, I never want her to feel the way that I feel. I totally and so I have to that. learn how to fix this for myself so I don't push those habits on her or anything like that, you know? Yeah. And um, so that kind of started me in my journey. And then as far as like to really feel, I would say, awake, honestly, that was um, like two years of hard inner work mm -hmm. to like, and I, I felt, I felt awake, but it was like diving into it and like bringing that awareness to the surface mm -hmm. constantly yep. because the more aware that you become you kind of freak out oh yeah and you're like i don't, I don't want to know all the things i, I know. know like ah, yeah. Yeah. like why and so i had to like be like okay you have it's okay to feel this moment and i realized that i had shut off all my emotions because i truly believe that you can't just shut off like one emotion you have to shut them all off in order yeah. to kind of cope with life and so i was always in this survival mode yeah. of like just coping yeah. and being like ah! and like and it, and it served me in a way because it helped me be a really high achiever but it didn't serve me because i never actually dealt with anything i just pushed through rather than sit and deal with it and so learning the art of sitting and dealing and healing became the best gift I could ever have learned. It, it is. I mean, I, that, I'm all about that. I love it so much. I yes. mean, it's something that I do. I feel all the emotions. I don't, it, it's something that I talk about all the time as yeah. well because I don't feel like you could ever really get through and heal from mm -hmm. what you need to. And and it is an ongoing process. Totally. You're never going to be like, okay, I'm yeah, done. Yeah, I'm like, I have reached, done. reached everything. This is where I'm at now. It's like the more where you become, you're like, well, shit, now I have to go I back know. and this too. I know. There's and, like layers. I call yeah. it layers of an onion. I know. do yes. that same thing. I'm like, you it is. Yes. I'm, I'm trying to explain it too. I love that. So I'm like, hey, listen. And I tell my clients, I'm like, it's like an onion. So we're gonna have to peel back layer by layer, and it's gonna suck, and you're gonna yeah. cry a lot, and it's gonna hurt, and you're and you're gonna be like, I don't want to do this, and like my eye stings, I have to, I'll, just, I'll 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 do it, I'll top it up. The 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 fast process won't work. You're yeah. gonna have to literally peel it back layer by yeah. layer, so you can actually heal, and you can see it, and you can turn it into something beautiful, and we can saute that onion, and it can be beautiful and tasty yeah. and good, but it's gonna take time. Yep. It's gonna take work. And sometimes something that you think that you've dealt with will come back up because it's in a different form or yeah, different a different version, version of it. By it is. Thing and yes, so. and you and you're like, I thought I was healed from. This. This. And that's the cool part too is to give yourself grace and like yeah. and be humble yeah. with it and be like, okay, cool. So I still have to work on this. And I'm still like, and I think that's been a really cool journey for me is just once I let myself feel again, I started to feel joy and happiness yeah. and love. And that helped me to find myself love. And so that's really what I help my clients with is to help them understand like what is stopping them from feeling love for themselves because yeah. the amount of love that we have for ourselves is the amount of love that we'll let others give to us as well and I learned that through my self-love was here and so I only allow people to love me to hear yeah. and so I would show up super ugly to them to try to make them only love me to the level I felt like I deserved and I would self-sabotage <laughs> yeah. and I'm like oh I'm like you're you are way too good to me so I'm gonna mess this up and I didn't realize I was yeah. doing that on a conscious level until I went back with my awareness and I was like I've been yeah. doing this for years. Oh Why? God. What am I doing? I'm a psychopath. Like, and so, and then I was like, oh wait, cool. It's all on me. Mm -hmm. And that became the beautifulness is like, I have shown up this way. I can choose to now show yeah. up a different way. That's the next step of awareness is then leaning into the people that are going to support you and love yeah. you. And Oprah calls it like your cabinet. And I love this philosophy because she's like, choose the five people that love you, support you, see the best in you, but are also so willing to be like, yeah, this isn't the best thing for you to do right now. Right. And, and you're like, oh, cool, yeah. trip on, oh, what's up? But, but that's you're willing to hear that. Well, that's yeah. what I love about my circle. We we talk a lot about The Power of the Other. There's an amazing mm. book called, called The Power of the Other okay. by Henry Cloud. Okay. You should totally check Gosh, it out. I will. But it talks about how the people can, like, help you through things. Yes. Or, and also, you know... It, as I'm getting older, my circle is getting smaller. Absolutely. Because it's but not it's like the that best I don't circle. love others, mm -hmm. but it's those people that I'm going to trust. Yep. It's the people that are going to call me out. Yes. And it's the people that are going to be okay for me to say, like, hey, look, yep. babe. <laughs> and then, you know what? 
<laughs> and it's being honest enough with yourself to be honest with someone else. Mm-hmm. And I think that's the beauty of awareness yeah. is you're like, hey, look, like this isn't my best version of me. And so I'm trying to cope with it so I can put myself in there. But will you just hold me accountable to that? And I think that's the, the best process right. of self-love is to say, because to me, self-love is self-discipline. Yeah. It's to choose the hard path over and over again. And it's not going to be the easy yeah. path because the easy path is to self-sabotage. It's yep. easy it to is. go back yep. and be like, well, this sucks. I don't want to do it. So I'll go back to here. Yep. But the hard path is to say, hey, look, I need help. And then that part, you're like, oh, to ask for help, that means I'm weak. No, it's like, and so you're stepping into fully being you and being present and saying, hey, like, I get I can't do this alone. And that's the beauty of life yeah. is connection, right? Yeah. Like, oh, and that's we, we need human connection. We need self-actualization. We yeah. need all of that. And when we can lean into others, and it also gives someone else a, a purpose. And, mm-hmm. and you help them serve you, and you're serving them in yeah. return. And it's just like this powerful beautiful thing of life and we end up seeing the gift of it is just like through us being honest and speaking our truth and being aware and saying hey like I could use you right now yeah. and like what a gift is that like if I was like hey I could really use you I need you right now and like here's a gift that I see in you if you could really just help me hold myself accountable like here's my mm-hmm. best self and I know like just you checking in on me will do that like how would you say no to that right you no, don't you're like, you're like thank you thank you for letting me share that and to me when people say that to me I'm like Thank you for trusting me enough to share this experience with you. Yeah. Because that's what life is, is just all these experiences. Oh, absolutely. And I'm like, you you want, and even celebration, right? Mm-hmm. Like, if someone's like, hey, I just got this. Can I call you? I just want to celebrate. I'm like, yeah! It's like, yeah! It's like, you want to share this moment with me? Thank you. Because what if I never, like, for an example, I had a friend who called me and he's like, hey, would you celebrate a moment with me right now? And I'm like, totally. Like, What's up? And he's like, I just made $65,000 today. And I was like, yeah! sharing this moment with me because I have never done that myself and so you just let me share this experience and what that did for me was to see that it's possible and so I think what's amazing is when we share experiences with other people we're helping them to feel that experience and learn how to manifest that and to see like I could do this too because I just got to share this with you and that's the beauty of life is like being real having real conversations talking and sharing those experiences and even with grief and sadness is like oh you felt pain so have I, and thank you for no, for sharing this with me so we can grieve together and then move on together. Yeah, and absolutely. that's like the beauty of, of that. And even like last night, I had something kind of trigger me and come up for me. And so I went to my friend's house and I was like, hey, like this is happening for me and I could really just use someone to talk it out with. And, and honestly, I, I kind of want to just cry with someone. And my friend was like, you got it. Like, yeah. thanks for letting me share that experience with you. And I was like, thanks for seeing me. And it yeah. was just, yeah. and, and I love, like, I would have never had a conversation like that before in my life. Right. I would have been no. like, I'm going to go get drunk and rage. Like, someone's over the bar, like, let's go because I don't want to feel. And I, and I, and I would, I could totally ring up, like, a hundred people. We'd be at the club. And like, yeah, like exactly. let's go. But inside, I was so sad. And I, and I really wanted someone just to hold me and tell me it was going to be okay. Yeah. And so learning to speak my truth to myself and, like, to have those moments has been some of the most beautiful this of, I don't know what's the word, yeah. of like, of self-love. So yeah. it's been rad, if that makes sense. Yes, it does. And I absolutely love that you're sharing your story with me and our viewers because it's, yeah. that's, that's my whole thing too that I love that we're connecting because I know from your experiences yeah. and you sharing your story with me, it's going to help me yes. and hopefully vice versa. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. No, it does. And it's just like being in your presence, right? And like, you're sharing your energy and your love and your light with me. And like, I can feel it. Like, I literally have chills. Like, and it's just like, and we're, but we're connected, right? Mm-hmm. And in life so often, we're not connected to anything. We're not yeah. even connected to ourselves. We're yeah. just constantly it's, on autopilot. Yeah. And I would ask like your audience to say like, how often are you just driving and you show up somewhere and you're like, oh, how did I just get here? And that's scary. Because you are on autopilot. You have no idea what you just thought about. You have no idea what you just saw. You weren't even present. You don't know what was just like. And you, you were literally, sober. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you were sober. I don't know. Maybe. And like, but you were just so tapped out. Yeah. And I didn't realize I was doing that so often. I was like, wow, like, I'm not even, I'm not even alive. Yeah. Right? And so this, like, this connection of just, like, truly being present. Eye contact. Like, for the love of God, people give each other eye contact. Yeah. People don't even give each other eye contact anymore. Like, they different. have to have their phone. They feel awkward. Like, and I, so I sometimes will kind of trip people out to, like, intimately stare in their eyes. I'm like, what, well, how's your day? And, like, they're like, <laughs> oh, like, it's, like, too much, like, intimidates them. And I'm like, I know. I know. You're, no, no, look at me. And, because it's, like, you need that. 
because that's how we connect. Yeah. And if you let me, like, eye connection is seeing your soul. Yeah. And if you okay. let me see your soul, like, then I can see you and you can see me. And it's powerful. Yeah. You know? It is. So. Well, Stephanie, thank you so much for coming on our show. Tell Absolutely. people how to uh, get you. Yeah. On Instagram or Facebook, it's Steph Ilif, S-T-E-F-I-L-I-F-F. -F -F. It's super weird. We'll have all the information. Yeah. There too. And then <laughs> uh, my website is www.findyourinnerpowerhouse.com. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Yes, for thank you. you. Amazing. You're amazing. I bless just you. Love that thank you're here. you. And also, I want to give some of our oh, bless you. Thank you. I, I know you love coffee, girl. Yes. And, thank you. You know. Thank you. Your Thanks story for all your gifts. So you're, you're very welcome. Bless well, you. Oh, and you got a mug too. Oh, See, all these things. All these. All things. the things. Merry Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it is Christmas. So thank you so much.